wanted to shoot him in the neck, but. Yeah, you got him right behind the neck. Yeah. Right behind the shoulder, I mean. He ran a little bit, but. He didn't go about 30 yards. He got about inch and a half tusk. And probably about four and a half foot long. He's a decent looking. He thing. heavy. Yeah. First boar. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm back with another video. We're going to go over this uh, Armaside Coex clip-on real quick. I had to end up getting the Gen 2 Plus because the Gen 3 was a little bit out of my budget. Uh, and I didn't really plan on buying this as quickly as I did. I found it for a good deal. Originally it retails for $21.95. I got it for a couple hundred bucks cheaper. Uh, so, let's get into this real quick. As far as the Coex goes, this thing is rated for a six to seven power sweet spot. I got it from this night force. This is on the creed more. Uh, now I was able to pump it up to about 10 or 12 power. And if you guys you know, hear my voice, I'm a little sick right now, but I figured shit, I'll make a video. It's been long enough. Uh, but anyway, I pumped it up to 10 or 12 power. It was usable, but it was a little blurry. Uh, as far as picture clarity goes, this is pretty top notch. This is one of their top notch tubes, HD tube. They've got an SD, SDI, HD, HDI, ID, IDI. The I, the little I in front of it, if you look, if you shop on Optics Planet, the little I just means international. Uh, Optics Planet was selling their HDI for $2,300. This one was going for $2,195. I wanted to know why that was a little bit better. I don't think Optics Planet knows. Uh, but I did some cross-referencing with Armacite's websites. Uh, Armacite International. Uh, that's the one they're able to ship out internationally. Now, for them to charge a little bit more, I mean, I think that's bullshit, so I stuck with the HD too. So, yeah, let's get into some questions that, uh, that are pretty common for these units. Number one, how far can you see with this thing? Uh, and I can say you need some ambient moonlight out there. You need some starlight or something because if you don't have that, you can't see very far. This is a Gen 2, so it's limited as far as, you know, operating in total darkness. I mean, I think all night vision devices are, but Gen 3's got the upper hand on that one. Uh, and I'm really curious to see what a Gen 3 looks like, so I don't know that may happen later on down the line. Paired with this illuminator, I was able to see a good 300, 350 yards. Uh, this is a badass illuminator. It comes with the unit. You're able to get it down to a tight beam or a really large beam, and you can control how much power you know goes out in that beam. So with it on high power, the straight board, the pin pinpoint beam, uh, I was able to see about 350 yards. So I bought the doubler that comes on. You know, is a is a different accessory that you can buy for this illuminator, and that's supposed to double the distance you can see. If I get 700 yards out of this damn unit right here, I will be tickled shitless. Uh, another question that I had as far as clarity goes, how clear is this thing? Well, you gotta mess around. This is our focus knob right here and you gotta mess around with it a little bit. Uh, so you can, you can mess around with the settings and hopefully find a sweet spot, you know, that, that'll, that'll be very clear. Uh, you gotta crank your scope to infinity to get a clear picture. I had to mess around with the focus ring over here and get a, uh, a clear picture there. Now they do have their focus up here. You know, it's, it's very, it's very uh, tedious. You know, Cause you'll have it in focus and you barely click it once, it'll go out of focus real quick. Uh, so fine-tuning this thing is an art form uh, but anyway it's so damn clear at 100 yard 120 yards I was able to identify a raccoon and hit that son of a bitch on the run uh, so yes it holds its zero very well uh, this light suppressor that goes in front of it I was concerned about that not fitting over the objective of the night force this thing fits it'll fit any scope you put in front of it um, you know, I really wanted to get the CoLR because that's what, you know, it's more geared towards a, uh, a long range optic. Maybe in the cards later on, but I went with the CoX due to financial reasons and because I wanted some badass night vision. Uh, 
So, yeah, man, let's look through the tube. Let's see what it looks like. That's with no illuminator. It's pretty dark back here. Turn this game down. Get a little fuzzy. That is just super bright. I like it, man. Here's some hay bales here. Adjusting the focus. That's a little bit better. We can play with our parallax here. bit better and then ain't too far out so overall not bad we're gonna take the sucker hunting That's about 1.30. That's a little bit better of a picture there. That's without the ILR on. It's dark out here. It's super dark. So, I mean, not terrible. It is a Gen 2, so it does have its limitations, but to step up from that monocular. Too bad we don't see any deer. If I find some deer, I will film them. Looks like we're not having any luck. Get that illuminator adjusted a little bit better. So anyway, this is through a cell phone. The picture is not going to be that great um, through a freaking cell phone. Let's see if we can do some zoomage. That's all. That's zoomed out. That's four power. Oh, my camera's messing up. I think that's all the way to 8 power. But that's the camera. You mean you can still see pretty damn good. Anyway. I'll mess around with this more.
see the radical lit up on the phone. Uh, I don't have it lit up. I'll wait for Hawks to come out. A little shaky right now. Oh, let me turn this flash on. Huh? <coughs> Video? Yeah, it wasn't hogs, it was raccoons. Yeah, it's night vision from about 120 yards away. Yeah. Good. So, Rooster nailed that one. He was underneath the feeder, and this little bastard tried running off, and I nailed him mid stride. We gutted both of them. So, look at him. They even got Mac Bandit. Pitch dark out here, and that night vision did its job. First boar knocked him dead. Wanted to shoot him in the neck, but yeah, you got him right behind the neck. Yeah, right behind the shoulder. I mean, he ran a little bit, but. He didn't go about 30 yards. He got about an inch and a half tusk. And probably about four and a half foot long. He's a decent looking. He heavy. Yeah. First boar. Yep. Alright guys, I'm back with another video. We're going to go over this uh, Armasite Coex clip-on real quick. I had to end up getting the Gen 2 Plus because the Gen 3 was a little bit out of my budget. Uh, and I didn't really plan on buying this as quickly as I did. I found it for a good deal. Originally it retailed for $21.95. I got it for a couple hundred bucks cheaper. Uh, so let's get into this real quick. As far as the Coex goes, this thing is rated for a 6 to 7 power sweet spot. I got it from this Night Force. This is on the Creedmoor. Uh, now I was able to pump it up to about 10 to 